Hey, what is going on guys? Today we're going to be doing a gaming test for the Yuma Digi A9 Pro. So if this is your first time on the channel, make sure you subscribe, get notified. But if you're already part of the crew, salute. Alright guys, let's get started. So we're going to do a gaming test on this device and we're going to go through some of my top games on here. Now, the graphics, we do get high, we do get HD, that is the maximum. So we're going to do a gaming test on PUBG real quick. Let me turn up the volume just a little bit. Alright, cool. Let's hit play. Now, I don't know how many frames per second are running right now because I didn't download an app to see that. But what I can tell you is that this phone has the P60 processing chip and four gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigabytes of internal. I'm sorry, 128 gigabytes of. In wow. Let me get out of here. Ah, oh, where is he? Damn, he got me. He cornered me. So I actually purchased the six gigabyte model, which is crazy. Usually I purchase the lower variant, but this one I wanted the top performance and everything like that. And you can really see the difference. That's why the multitasking was so good in the beginning of the video. Oh God. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, but the multitasking was um, was 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 on point. You you notice that it opened the app up from the multi screen and everything like that. Let's go ahead and run this side. Awesome. So yeah, this is the six gigabyte, six gigabyte model, 128 gigabytes of RAM as well. I mean, ROM. So you know what I'm talking about? It's gonna be a really solid device for gaming, gosh, right at the top as well. But I'm just gonna jump into this a little bit. Um, let me see, the Knicks are playing right now, so I'm trying to hurry up. All right, so the frames are dropping. What's she talking about? Oh, okay, bet. So as you can see, guys, the graphics on here look really good. Let me turn up the speakers a little bit. Um, some noticeable, you know, delays on the screen and things of that nature, but it's not really impacting like the game performance or anything like that. So But you can see um, the colors on here look really good. The brightness is really on point as well. Let me see if I could actually get into some combat or something like that. But usually there's like some villains on top of this mountain or something. But uh, yeah, this is th these are good graphics, guys. Uh, I don't have any issues with it whatsoever. Um, what do you guys think? You think the frame rates are good for a phone under pretty much this phone is pretty much like one thirty dollars. This is crazy. I'll leave a link the cheapest link I could find down below, but I think the graphics look really good on this device, guys. OK, that was Genshu Impact. Now we're going to take a look at Highway Racing. OK, guys, the final game we're going to play is Call of Duty Mobile right here. Let's check out the graphics and see how high the gameplay can perform on here and um, everything like that. All right, for the Call of Duty Mobile, you can play this thing all the way high. You get all of the special effects. You can't get the ragdoll and the water reflection. But let me just show you what I'm talking about. So we're going to just play a quick game right here. Multiplayer mode. So the thing I like about this thing is it's going to have the thermometer around back. 
gyroscope as well, compass accelerometer, proximity sensor, light sensor, and acceler um, did I say accelerometer? And the fingerprint around back. So that's all the sensors on board with this thing. All right, so let's just see how the gameplay is on here. I definitely like PUBG a lot better. This one was better for a little while, but then when PUBG got that mode that's just like this one, I feel like it's just more realistic and things of that nature. But uh, let's see, there's a guy right there. Where he, where's the other dude? There he is. This guy's running mad fast. You saw that? That's crazy. That's dope. That must be like new. Let me see. Where, where's my cat, all the cats around me? All right, it's about to run out. Oh, damn. I didn't know that happened at the end of it, though. Let me see. But we actually destroying these guys 31 to 1. This is real crazy. There hasn't hasn't been any lags on here from what I can see. Where's my knife at? Oh, that was crazy. I just gave them the second kill. But like, like I said, guys, this thing is uh, really snappy. It's a really good phone for gaming if you're on a budget, like I said before. But, you know, you know this, this, this device will be able to game. You can play Fortnite, Call of Duty Mobile, things of that nature. Um, pretty much anything you want on here. So, you know, you won't be complaining when it comes to the gameplay on here. I, have, I haven't seen one lag on this device so far. The 6 gigabytes of RAM does actually help out with it when it comes to the gaming as well. But now the next game I wanted to play was Car X Highway, guys. But this time I wanted to use my controller. Um, my, my um, I haven't used this thing in a long time, so I figured I would use my um Bluetooth, my Bluetooth gaming controller. So you can see it has some dust on it as well. Hopefully, uh, oh wow, it works. Wow, this is crazy. This this is smooth as butter. Holy cow. How do I break? Oh, damn. Let's run that back. Nah, bro. Wow. So th I can't believe how good this plays with the joystick, guys. This is fire. Let me, um, wow. This feels so realistic. Let me kind of just tail him until I can pass him. Let me see, I, 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 I could kind of get him right here. Well, wow, this is crazy. This is absolutely nuts, hold on. Oh! Hopefully I could get this, this win, but this is nuts. This is, I think he's like right by my side too. Let me see if I could change the view real quick. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, I really like this gaming on here, especially with the controller. That feels so smooth. Yeah, this is really solid device, guys. It does have, um, you know, all the sensors on here, gyroscope sensor, proximity sensor, light sensor, things of that nature, zippy processing speed, six gigabytes of RAM, 120 gigabytes of internal storage, and you can move the apps to the SD card slot. But let me know what you guys think down below and I'll get right back with you later, groupies.